Welcome to this opening video. I had several students that were concerned about how to properly do the first assignment from the book, Chapter 1 in the Expression Web text and in the Web 140 class. I wanted to make sure that those who felt a little nervous or a little more secure by having a video version of this that I actually walk through this with you. Basically I'm assuming now that everyone has successfully been able to log into Blackboard and I'm in there right now as a student. So I would just click on the assignments tab over on the left hand side and just as a reminder with this video just remember to always rewind to pause whatever you need to do if I'm going too rapidly for you. Now if I'm looking at session two which just contains the list of assignments to be covered I can click in that folder and you'll have a list of the actual assignments that will be done. Now this will be two separate submissions right here. The letting go of the words book is a completely separate assignment altogether but what I'm doing with the expression web assignment process wise is very similar. Now this again is only a list of the assignments. Expression web chapter one which I'll go through with you in just a second. Sorry about my mouse going crazy. And then the small exercise which is a very easy process. And again, you couldn't submit here if you wanted to because this is only a list of the assignments. Even if I click here, nothing's going to happen. You actually have to find the assignments as far as submitting them in the assignments folder under the appropriate book reference. This is just, again, just to be sure you're clear with this, when I click assignments, the sessions simply give a list of the assignments that are required the actual assignments themselves where you physically submit them to Blackboard is in the folder associated with the book. So for example in this one where it says Expression Web Book Assignments you'll click inside that folder and there's the actual web assignment right there. Chapter 1 Expression Web Assignment. And I just said to download it so you can work with it. To download it you can simply click on it depending on your computer you can click on it and in my case it will actually give me an option to save it and I can go to Save As and in my case I put it on the desktop where I could just save it so I can grab it. You might decide you want to right click and if you right click on the blue attachment it will give you something similar to save target as and you'll get the same process going on there. So whether you left click or whether you right click it's totally up to you. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave this assignment open for right now so I can show you how to submit it to Blackboard later if you're new to it. So I'll go here to my messy desktop and I happen to have the assignment already open and you have the option of making a, a brand new document for submitting your work or you can use this document. It's totally up to you how you want to handle it. So it says on here to read and study Tutorial 1. That's just the name of the chapter. The Cengage company that publishes these books calls them tutorials rather than chapters because each chapter is a tutoring session on how to do a particular concept with this software. This is the one and only time that I will ask, actually ask you to answer the questions for me because this particular chapter is just involving creating a web assignment only. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing fancy here. I just realized I hope I have Expression Web on this computer and I'll, I'll check that out in just a minute. So if I blundered it, I'll apologize. In any event, the only time you'll actually have to do questions at the end of the chapter will be this chapter. Don't try to second guess me and race ahead and do all the questions for chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. You'll be wasting your time as far as my assignments are concerned. But I'm going over here to page 17 first of all and I'll be looking in your book at the quick check. It's just a set of questions. Basically this first session, 1.1 in your book, is just going over the concepts of the software itself. You've got some beige boxes in there where you can go in, you can click and play and explore what's going on with the software. And it's got some questions at the end of the chapter. So again, whether you want to do this at the end of the document right here, or whether you want a brand new one, that's totally up to you. I'm going to do a brand new document just for the process, just for the sake of going through the process of using my new Word document here. And I'll go ahead and call this uh, Quick Check 1.1. I'm not going to do the entire assignment here because it's yours to do, not for me. And I don't care whether you type the question or just the answer. That is totally up to you. So the first question here says, what do the letters HTML stand for? And I'm going to put HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. I just happen to know that one, of course, because I've taught the course for a long time. 
and then number two and I don't care how pretty it is I don't care if it's in blue ink or red color I don't care if the numbers messed up as long as you have the answers there that's what I'm after some people will type complete sentences some people will write out the questions and the answers it's whatever you want to do personally what do the letters CSS stand for so I'll write down cascading style sheets pretty straightforward except for my computer wanting to play the number game with me and I'll let you do whatever if it's messy I don't care just as long as I get answers it's totally up to you I won't answer the rest of the questions so don't take this literally just because Mike Sis did two questions doesn't mean that you do two questions you do all seven and answer those <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop and I'm gonna call it I'm gonna put it on my desktop just to make it easier for this tutorial this video and I'll just call it um, quick check chapter one again you don't have to do what Mike Sis does unless you especially want to alright if you want to have a separate document for the other part again that's totally up to you ladies and gentlemen I don't mind how you do it I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to tack on quick check two right here it's, it's 1.2 right here it's totally up to you because it says in the next part of the assignment do session one two quick check that should say quick check number two I apologize for that that's an oversight on me and you'll find I'll make these goofs sometime during my senior moments um, no I did actually that's right my fault <laughs> Friday afternoon I'm doing this video my brains kind of warped right now you'll do page 37 and there are some questions on there and when I turn to page 37 in the book the first question says what two commonly used editing tools are available in expression web and you can again use this sheet or you can do a you can do a separate sheet for each question it is totally up to you and I might put up here the editing tools used in expression web are blah 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 blah, blah whatever they are I'm not doing your homework for you and again this could be a separate document I'll just go file save right here and I'll save that document so that one is taken care of the next thing you do in this particular assignment is you work through tutorial one and submit the completed web web club dot HTML site now I'm gonna to have to see if this particular computer has expression web on it and this one now has Windows 8 so I might have to do a little bit of searching right here that's a little bit different from your computer I do have Microsoft Expression Web on here, yay! So I'm going to open up Microsoft Expression Web. Now this one is version four, and this one is available for free because of your DreamSparks email that you should have gotten from my department chair, Jonathan. If you don't have this, you need to let me know this. You can't use this as an excuse for never doing assignments because that's the whole point of an online course is having the correct software, and it is available to you for free you may have a little issue possibly if you have an Apple but there's a special way of getting that software also and those of you who are in proximity near the college can come by and actually have the software downloaded if you're real nervous about it now my computer is a little bit slow in uploading this program for right now I'm gonna do a little bit of a pause because I can't see where I'm recording this because it's dark in this room bear with me just a second And you'll find, sorry for the noise factor, you'll find that when I create videos, I don't make them perfect. It's one and done because I've got seven classes, four of them are online, and you kind of have to take what you get with me. And that's not a matter of, of indifference on my part. It's a matter of I have to have a life. All right. In Expression Web, there are three versions or three viewpoints with this particular software down at the bottom of the screen you'll learn this in the tutorial there's the design mode where you're just looking at the screen as you would see it on the internet for the web page there's the code that's generated if you're taking my web 115 class you'll learn about what this code is about and then there's the split screen where you'll see a little bit of both basically the assignment itself actually starts the tutorial actually starts in your type it actually starts on page 20 of your book and it says to start expression web and if you wallow through and have trouble with with these tutorial folders and stuff just do the best you can with it and 
you probably have have saved this somewhere. But basically, what you're doing is you're typing in the text that's on page 21, and I'm just going to start it out. If you have experience, and again, I'm on page 21 of your book, and the actual way that the final page should look is on pages 19 and 20. What will happen? These chapters or tutorials are divided into two sections each. The first section of chapter 1 just goes through an overview of Microsoft Expression Web to show you how to work through it. And the session 1.2, the second half of this tutorial chapter, goes through actually creating a web page. And that's the way that your page should look when you, when you finish it. And in fact, and I'm not, I'm not actually walking through the assignment itself, I'm just going through procedures more than anything else. But you'll have something that says East Shore College Web Page Design Club. And the directions are in the pages. The one danger that you want to avoid, do not, please, do not look at page 18 and 19 and just copy it word for word in order to escape going through the chapter because you'll find in future chapters, while this one might let you get away with it, in future chapters it will backfire on you. So go through the beige boxes starting on page 20, 21, all those, and make sure that you type in what you're supposed to type. Now you'll find as you go through this, you'll find that, and you may or may not be able to see this on my screen, but you'll find that the document is referred to as untitled underscore one dot HTML. HTML is the language that's behind the scenes of pretty much every web page on the planet. And the little asterisk simply means that you've made some updates to it. So when I save this, I'll just go for right now to the traditional file save as. We'll change this a little bit in the next chapter. And I'm just going to put this on my desktop personally just for, for the uh, purposes of this video to make it a little bit easier for you. And so when I eventually get to the desktop sometime, there it is, I'm going to call it, I think I think the document is supposed to be called webclub.html. I think that's what it is. I think it's called Web Club. And you'll save this. And if I actually wanted to look at this on the internet, I can hit a key. You'll see this in the tutorial called F12. And that will show you what the page will look like on the internet. Now, there's nothing fancy in this chapter. It's all text right now, but that's because the purpose of this chapter is to make sure you get used to the software first and not have to do a bunch of stuff with pictures and videos and cascade sheets and stuff like that. They don't want to make it complex at first. And that's what I like about this book is that it very gently introduces you to the software while people get their software and their Blackboard accounts and their email done. You don't have to have all this hassle and feel like you're you're struggling to keep up from the beginning because I want you to have a very strong foundation and I want each student to have a very good start. Now let's just assume that this web page is completed because I don't want to walk through the whole assignment and bore you with it. But when you finish the assignment, you don't have to print it out. You simply have to send it to me electronically because several people in this course online do not live in Cleveland County and they would have a hard time sending me a printout unless they did it through the, the, the U.S. Postal Service or UPS. So we're doing everything electronically. All right, let's just say that I've saved this document and now I'm ready to go into Blackboard and submit this stuff. Now again, remember that I have two documents here. I have, there are the instructions. I have the one that's got the questions and answers and I've got the web club site that I partially created. Now, I'm very strict about how it's submitted. It's got to be submitted through the proper place in Blackboard. Do not email it. Do not send it in a Blackboard message. Don't get creative on me. People will do that. They'll say, I just thought I would send it this way, and that's not allowed. I'm very strict about that because I want to make sure the procedures are, are followed because I can't do a scavenger hunt with 50 online students having to hunt in this place and that place and the other place trying to find where everybody's stuff is. So there has to be some rules for that reason. Now, when I go back into Blackboard, I'm going to click that same assignment area. Now remember, the session only gives you a list of the assignments. You cannot submit them there. You have to go into the book assignment. And since this is Expression Web book assignments, I'm going to click there. And this time, instead of clicking on the document itself, I'm going to click on the black title, which is Chapter 1 Expression Web Assignment. When I click on there, you'll see three or four steps that are listed. I think it's now four. Number one is just the same information about the assignment that you saw earlier. Number two is where you actually attach the assignment for me. It's kind of like the example of strapping an infant into a 
child seat in a car. You're going to strap the baby in properly, then you drive off. You can add a comment that says, hey, this is a great day. I've got a jo good joke for you. This assignment stunk out loud. Please look at it and make sure I'm okay. Whatever comment you want. And then there's a submit button that's both at the bottom right here and at the top. So what I'll do, I've got actually two files to attach. So I'll click browse my computer because this computer has no clue where my assignment is, but I do. I'm going to go to the desktop because I know that's where it is in my case, and your computer may be slightly different, so you'll have to discover where your assignment is. I'm not there with you. So I'll scroll down through here, and let's see. I've got a lot of goodies on here. Let me see where it is. See if I remember. There it is. Check, quick check. Let me mumble for a while. Quick check chapter one is one of them. Say that five times. So I'm going to click that one and open it. And you may or may not notice that right here where it says attached files, there's my file right there that says quick check chapter one. Now I've got a second one, and I can load as many, I can put as many babies in the car as I have car seats. And I've got several car seat availabilities here, so I'm going to click Browse My Computer again. And, because I'm putting more than one baby in the car, more than one baby in Chapter 1. Remember, I had one called Web Club. It's an HTML document. I'll click that and open it. And now, hopefully, you'll notice on the screen that I have two documents in here. And I'll put a little comment that says, if I can get it typed right, Mike says, please be sure that I submitted this stuff properly. I am not so sure about Blackboard. You don't have to put anything if you don't want to. That's totally up to you. But I read your comments, and I do a polite thanks right there. Now I'm doing this as a student, of course. And once I know the assignments are there, I can go down here, click Submit, and hopefully in no time flat, it will say the assignment submitted. And you'll see a picture on this version of Blackboard of what's happened. There's a capture of my assignment. Remember, I didn't do the whole thing. If I click on Web Club, it will show me either a picture of it or it may just show me the little icon with the document. And what I do as an instructor is then I download it, and then I will send a document back to you that has feedback on how you did or did not do. And I'm always very lenient on this first assignment. I don't typically do regrade, regrade, resubmit, resubmit because I've just got too many students and only 14 weeks in the course. But it gives you a chance to have a real positive, a real strong beginning. And if you have something that you submitted by accident and you want to clear it out, you just send me a message and I can clear it out. We can fix anything that's messed up, so don't worry about that. If you want to be sure, again, that you submitted this assignment properly, you can go to Course Tools on Blackboard and go over to where it says My Grades. It will give you a list of things that you've done so far. Now, I'm looking at a fake student here, so there's nothing illegal going on. And you notice it says Submitted Chapter 1 Expression Web Assignment. And had that been something graded, you would see a, you would see a number grade there. But since there's not, you'll click on Chapter 1 Web Assignment, and what it will show you right now is the same thing I, I saw, showed you earlier. If by chance the assignment had been graded, you would see a numeric value right there and some feedback from me. <clears throat> and that's the process for sending the assignment to me. I hope this helped out, and if you have additional questions, please let me know.